In the early 1950s Farmer Air Shows, GE was best known for its J-47 fighter jet engine, which powered the F-86. In fact, the actual engine that was used by the company in the exhibit hall is now on display at the Learning Center. The J-47 is the most produced jet engine in history. More than 35,000 engines were produced over a 10-year period and put GE on the roadmap to be one of the great fighter engine companies of all time. The 1976 Farnborough Air Show featured Northrop demonstrating the YF-17 aircraft for the very first time outside the United States. It was powered by an engine called the J-101, produced in Lynn, Massachusetts by GE. But of course, all those names will soon change, and we will know this aircraft as the F-18, and the engine as the F-404, one of the most venerable engines in the GE inventory. An engine introduced in the U.S. Navy back in 1981 is still a very, very important part of the heritage of GE and an important part of the Navy inventory, the classic F-18. During the flying displays of the 1988 Farnborough Air Show, no question, General Electric stole the show with this unique unducted fan engine mounted to the left side of a McDonnell Douglas MD-80 test aircraft. It flew several times during the show and garnered a huge audience. People were not only amazed by the look of the engine, but also the sound of the engine on the side of the fuselage of the aircraft. The airplane had completed a 15,000 mile trip from Edwards Air Force Base in California all the way to the Farmer Air Show and back. That was one show GE definitely owned. At the 2002 Farmer Air Show, GE had an opportunity to really demonstrate the extraordinary growth it experienced in the commercial market. You had the new GE90 115B. You had the GP7200 engine, which GE developed with Pratt & Whitney. You had enhanced versions of the CF6 and CFM56 engines. And also, you had the major development of our regional jet engines, the CF34. The buzz leading into the 2008 Farnborough Air Show was all about what engines would power the next generation narrow-body aircraft. Pratt & Whitney came out strong with this gear turbofan, but CFM International, the joint company between GE and Saffron, would be quiet no longer. Not only would CFM announce the launch of its new LEAP engine, but the joint partnership would be extended all the way to 2040. This was a landmark day in the history of GE Aviation because the LEAP engine would go on to become the fastest selling commercial engine in aviation history.